you guys have come a long way since yeah. becoming a local band. Yeah. So what's been your favorite touring experience so far? Um, my favorite thing about touring is just seeing new places. I mean, like we've been to the same places a couple times now, but like I don't know, we've been there when it's like raining or snowing. It's just cool to see like different states and like different weather and stuff like that. Since you know where we live in Arizona, we get heat and rain every like, like what seven months. I don't even know. No rain. Like two yes. days out of the year, yeah. it rains here. Yeah. So yeah, it's cool seeing just like snow and stuff like that. It's like my yeah. favorite part. Just of getting to see the world is cool. Yeah. And what pranks have you played with bands you toured with? Uh, well, I, one band stitched up hard. We uh, hey, kind of wrecked each other. Really uh, probably favorite prank so far was stitched up heart. Yep. We kind of like uh, destroyed their van. Yeah, jerked around with each other's vans. You know, like they they threw a bunch of baby powder on our van. So what we did was we put a bunch of peanut butter and jelly. And yeah, we put we put baby all the all the food from our van. We just threw it on there. Peanut butter jelly and we made like a Bad sandwich nice. on their window. <laughs> so yeah, Wrote, that one to cover on the winds. Yeah, yeah. winds. Good. Yeah, the winds. Yeah. How about most shows you've done so far all together? What's that? How many shows you think you guys have done uh, all together? I'd say it's close to what a thousand now. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. yeah, it's probably it up there. I, I honestly, I can't like. I would, yeah, remember, remember every there. show, but yeah, we've been. I haven't kept a lot of shows in our life, honestly. How about best pizza party you ever got? I mean, had and first bike you got. Best pizza party? Yeah, that you had and best first bike you got. First My first bike that I got was I, I want to say a puppy. Um, it was yellow. It was, it was, it was a good bike. My, and um, my, my first bike was a free agent. Um, and then I moved up to an Eastern. Uh, I moved up to a Haro. Yeah. Uh, pizza, pizza party? I don't. Um, we had a Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah. That's a good one. I don't eat pizza anymore because I don't like it. Um, but yeah. Lou Malnati's. Actually, we had a killer pizza party one time at Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's in you, Chicago. If you want good pizza, you gotta go to Lou Malnati's. <laughs> what store corporation would you guys own? Store, store corporation? Uh, yeah. The, the Apple. I would go for Apple. That's I, love, I love their products. That's a good one. Also, um, I don't know, BC Rich Guitar. I, I love guitars, yeah. so BC Rich Guitar. BC Rich. Maybe. Um, Fender. Fender, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fender, Gibson. If you guys were on a killing spree, what music would be playing in the background? Uh, I don't think, I don't think I'd ever kill someone, but I, no, I know I wouldn't kill someone. Uh, but if we're talking about video game killing spree, I'm more comfortable with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's probably like a happy song, like, um, I don't know. Uh, Journey, don't stop believing. That's a good one. That's a good one. My answer might be the same. Actually, um, I think mine would be the Inception soundtrack by uh, Andy Zimmer. If you guys could rent a movie theater and have a marathon, what would it be? Oh, uh, Star Wars, all day. Yeah. 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 What song describes you as a person from another band? Uh, from another band? Um, yeah. I don't know it describes me as a person, but songs that I like a lot and like I kind of like. What's the thing called when you're like obsessed with We're trying to do an interview uh, that I relate with. Uh, would be like John Mayer. I like John Mayer. We're trying to do an interview, Christian. All right. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm not mad. A song, a specific song, or an artist? Uh, couldn't it be neither or. Um, I did John Mayer. Yeah, John Mayer is actually a great one because you know he just tells stories. He's relatable. Relatable. Or Drake. Drake. What would you rather be, an alien or a predator? Predator. Yeah. Jinx. Jinx all I, I got him first. You have a cool outfit. You owe me a kook. Coke. How about a pharaoh, king, or a god? Uh, God. <laughs> I mean, I think God has yeah, the most god. power. Yeah. How about ninja, kung fu master, samurai, or sign assassin? Mm. Well, ninja is technically a silent Wait. assassin, right? Sam, I think samurai is actually. Samurai, samurai has the armor. armor. Yeah, um, so a samurai. But I'd, I'd rather be like a ninja or an assassin. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, the ninja's purpose was to kill samurai. Yeah. So yeah. they might be the better choice. How about a pirate sailor airplane pilot? Uh, pi a pirate? I think pirate. Sailor? I think pirate. Uh, uh, yeah, I would be a pirate. Pirate ship together? Yeah. What would you rather do, bungee jump, skydive, or base jump? Uh, skydive. Do you have a lucky charm? Uh, lucky charm? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. 
I, I used to carry this, uh, actually, yeah, I do. I have Canadian money in my wallet. Uh, that's my lucky charm. I've been carrying it for a while now. We went to Canada. We, um, let's see, I've got, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this ring right here. Or, um, the trusty in and out gift card. I've always had that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. How many friends would you guys say you have on Twitter or Facebook? Facebook? Uh, Facebook? A couple of thousand? to a few thousand, yeah. Twitter, I've got like 3,000 followers. Instagram, I've got like 7,000. What songs have you never played live? Never played live out of our City Lights City off Lights. our album. It's the only song we have not played live. Yeah. What band or musician would you want to cover your songs? Mm. It's gotta be one that kind of sounds like us. Maybe, um, maybe like, I mean, it sounds kind of weird to say Five Seconds of Summer. Yeah, but they would probably do like the best like, but job. They'd yeah. probably be, yeah, similar style. What famous band would you want to tour manage? Tour manage. Oh, well, some um, a band that I know doesn't have a bad maybe reputation. Like Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah, Bruno Mars. Or like um, Maroon Five. Yeah. If you could own a sports team, what sports team would it be? Arizona Cardinals. Um. Next month, what sports team? I would probably do Chicago Bulls. Okay. Orlando Magic. Magic. Right. Orlando Magic. And what's the most things you autographed before? Like in one, in I think first yeah. I would say it's just po posters or album. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Probably the album. How about Dream Collaboration and Dream Studio to record at? Uh, well, I I personally love the studio to record at now with Matt Good. Um, yeah. But if I have to choose a different one, it would be awesome to work with Feldy um, and Matt at the same time. That would be a dream. Yeah. Um, and Dream Studio, yeah, it would just be Feldy Studio. I'm forgetting the name of it right now. I don't know why, but yeah. What would be weird band merch you make that you think would sell? Mm, weird band merch? Um, sometimes people will make portable phone chargers, like they just basically charge the chargers and they just put their logo on it. It's kind of strange, but people yeah. buy them. Yeah, when they're showing any battery power. Yep. And who made your music videos and how was that experience? Uh, Mostly Marcus Mar Eden. 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 And yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. That's all I can say about it. It's really good. What was the funniest thing about making the music videos? Like anything random or uh, crazy happened? There was a little thing music video. For like the good first half of the video, I had really bad allergies that day, so my mom she was there and she gave me for some reason drowsy uh, allergy medicine and for like the first half of the video I'm just like a zombie and I didn't know what was going on so it, you might be able to kind of tell in the video but I, yeah that was that was a good experience for me um, but yeah probably that if you guys had a mascot for your band what would it look like uh, it'd be a dragon with bull horns uh, with a unicorn on its back with rainbows Some, coming out of it but also like Kind of like themes classy. of themes, well, classy, but like themes of Tony the Tiger. Yeah, like he said, he has a saying like that. Like it's, well, it can't be. It can't be. It's great because that would be still. So yeah, maybe like it's excellent. Yeah, something like that. What would you do if you won the lottery? Uh, well, first I would take 10% mm, of my winnings invest. and put that aside. Put that aside in a savings account. Don't touch it. Then I would invest, and then whatever I have left to spend, I'd uh, save and spend it. If you had a school, what would you teach? Uh, music. Yep. Music and uh, you know just math and science is very important. Science and yeah. math. Um, technology. Oh yeah. Um, what would you rather have, a castle or virtual reality machine? A uh, castle or a virtuality machine? Um, a virtual reality. Virtual probably. reality. Yeah. And where would you rather play? Space Station, Hell, in the World, Heaven, Underground, a mall, a strip club? That's not enough options to be honest, but I would go with... Probably Heaven. Heaven. Because I don't really want to go to Hell, <laughs> yeah. if that's an option. <laughs> and what would you guys rather have? A bakery, a movie theater, a haunted house, graveyard, church, arcade, store, farm, country, or a museum? Probably... Well, it's it's all, this all depends on if Eddie Murphy's in it, but probably a haunted house. I agree. <laughs> if you had a record label, what kind of bands would be signed? Um, I, I would say any band that's good, uh, yeah. but I would prefer to sign just like good pop bands. Yeah, uh, you know, any, anything that people enjoy. And, yeah, uh, I enjoy that's, that's song to karaoke too? Karaoke too, everybody hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where would you rather go, Mars, the moon, or another planet? Uh, I would no, rather, I would go to another galaxy, yeah. find some aliens, and like, I would want to go to one of those, like, inhabitable, inhabitable planets, you know, that are, like, really far away, and try and find some aliens and just make contact. See, 
what they're like. Yeah, I would definitely hook, um, be friends with them. Maybe play some music or something. Some collab. Hockey. Hockey. How about famous person you go with on a date? Uh, um, Brad Pitt. Interesting choice. <laughs> choice. If I have um, to choose a woman. Um, let's see. I mean, that's a really tough choice. Probably somebody like. Um, I probably. Uh, I don't know. What's What's the name of uh, the lady from um, Devil Wears Parada? You know the older lady. I've never seen that movie. Meryl Streep. Meryl, St Meryl, Meryl Streep. Street. Probably somebody like. Cause she has. There's a lot of knowledge. A lot of class. A lot of knowledge. A lot of experience. You know, she's got world experience. Just acting. Yeah, experience. She's got a lot Very of talented. Awards. Very talented. How about favorite Happy Meal toy you got as a kid? Uh, oh, this, oh. this I know mine. The uh, the Sonic portable games. Those are awesome. Me, I got. Well, I got two things. I got Lord of the Rings cups, and I got um, Batman cups. It was the Riddler. Wow. wow. And I still have both of those. So. First movie you saw in movie theaters, and first movie that you bought on VHS. First movie I saw in movie theaters of what I can remember uh, was actually National Treasure. Um, but instead of playing National Treasure, they accidentally played The Grudge. <laughs> and at like six years old, I witnessed a suicide, and I know what that was. Um, so yeah, they played the grudge. So I say the grudge, like the first opening sequence, is what I saw first. First, um, I saw shoot. Um, I want to say it was Avatar. Avatar. Yeah. Uh, whenever Iron Man came out, the first one, it was like two years before that. How about favorite movie and favorite board game? Uh, board game? Favorite movie. I really like a lot of movies. I like, but Captain America: Winter Soldier is a good one. Uh, board game has to be Boggle. Um, I don't know. It's hard to choose a favorite movie, but I liked Guardians of the Galaxy a lot. That was mm. just a good movie. Um, Seven Pounds with Will Smith. Yeah. You know. Just, yeah. Um, anything like that. Yeah. How about to name your first crush and the first dance you went to? Uh, My first crush? crush? I I can't even. Remember. I can't even remember that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that one. First um, dance I went to. Pretty much the only dance I went to was like those grade school like. I'm not even really a dance, just like, yeah. you know, dance, but yeah, I've never been to homecoming or prom, you know, just because, you know, the show. And favorite touring memory so far and favorite candy bar? Uh, favorite touring memory? Um, hmm. Um, so many memories. Probably, probably just the big shows from this last Austin Jones tour, you know, just yeah, some of the big are, ones were just fun Michigan shows. Michigan was really good. Chicago. Michigan, Chicago. Uh, what was the Indiana. second question? Favorite, favorite candy bar. Uh, favorite candy Kit bar. Kats, Reese's, one of those um, two. I like anything that's like super dark chocolate. So. Yeah, yeah, you know, dark chocolate, you know, uh, peanut butter, good. you know, like crunchy, like crunchy yeah. just yeah, just yeah. And tell me a story about when you guys were first starting out. Uh, first starting out, well, we we thought we were like looking super cool, so we took our first band pic mm. with this like oh, two yeah. megapixel digital camera, and we set it on this table. And we set the timer, and then like my little sister kept running in and getting the picture. And we finally got one, and now we still have it to this day. And it's, just, it's a good memory to look back yeah. on. How about first song you guys covered? First song we covered was California, California by Hawk Nelson. Yep. Would you ever play it live? Again, no. Probably not. No. Yeah, we did play it live, but never. Again. No offense to Hawk Nelson. Yeah. No offense to the Hawk. And what mythical creature would you own? Hawk. Wait, is uh, that mythical? Myth, that's not mythical. It's mythical. Uh, I would order super. Hot. I would own a griffin. Um, griffin. That's yeah. pretty close to a hog. Griffin, so. yeah. But um, it's not real. So. Shoot. Uh, probably. Well, I'd be afraid that it would like overpower me. But maybe yeah. a minotaur. <laughs> yeah. You know. And the what would you? That is it might. And what would you rather do? Fly an eagle, swim with the shark, swim with the whale. Swim with the sharks. Swim with the whale, honestly. I, swim, I, swim with the whale. Swim How with big those dolphins, creatures are. But yeah, sharks. I love. I, I, if I have to die being up close to a shark, I want to swim fine with a whale and shark. Yeah, those are cool. And what would you rather do? Uh, ride on Bigfoot's back or ride on a unicorn? Uh, Bigfoot's back. Neither. Those both sound really boring. Actually, you know what? I would, I'd rather be friends with King Kong. I would like to ride in a kangaroo's pouch. Yeah. It's probably not that great. If you could change history, what would you change? Uh, well, honestly, I wouldn't change anything because you never know what the ripple effect could have. Like, say you went and stopped That's Hitler, as terrible as that was, what could happen? You never know what yeah. But yeah, probably like yeah, Hitler, yeah, the Hitler, if I had to yeah. choose one. That's just awful, but yeah, I, honestly, it would be scary to mess with because you don't, maybe something worse could happen. Now, you know? How about worst restaurant experience you had and weirdest food you ate? 
Uh, I want to say like Chico's Tacos. Chico's Tacos. <laughs> Everybody says it's the greatest thing ever. If you're I think in El Paso, <laughs> skip it. Skip it all day. The locals will there. try to lie to you. <laughs> it's off. Don't go. No hate on Chico's, but I'm hating on them. What was so the other bad. question? Best restaurant experience? Uh, weirdest food you ate. Oh, uh, weirdest food you ate? Oh, shoot. I don't think um, we really yeah. eat that weird food. We just eat the same thing at different I restaurants. I sometimes do. I mean, uh, I mean, honestly, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten is not even that weird. It's just like... Uh, like fresh sliced off octopus from like this big thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even that weird, but. What exotic animal would you be? What, what? Exotic animal exotic would you be? Exotic animal. Uh, what? Like non mythical? Uh, it could be mythical. Probably mythical. I would be King Kong. King Kong. Maybe Godzilla. First book you got, first Maybe comic King you got. Godzilla. First book I got, first I think book. I want to say it was uh, Harry Potter. Or the first book that Maybe I Lord ever the, really it was Lord of the Rings. The first I don't remember the first book, but the first book that I ever really read and loved was The Great Gatsby. First comic I ever got was that's some super comic. I can't remember. Actually, you know what? Rewind. The first book I ever got was Garfield. I was big into Garfield. Oh, okay. Okay. What would you rather have? A time machine, teleportation device, or holodeck? Uh, time machine. Oh, what's the last one? Uh, hollow deck. Uh, I would go with. Uh, I think time machine. I see. I would. Yeah, time machine. Just don't mess with anything. Because you go far you enough. See back up, to the future. You go far enough into the future, you're gonna find a teleportation. Machine. No, if you go far enough in the future, the world could be over, and then you're screwed. How about your guys' rarest memorabilia? Rarest memorabilia. Rarest. 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 Uh, like our, our merch that people have. You, you mean like stuff that we got from somebody else? Yeah. Oh, um, okay, um, let's see. I have, I actually have a copy of um, Nickelback's Midnight Ride back home. Wow, it's a DVD. It's a tour DVD. That's cool. Though. And I've watched that. That's cool. I can't even tell you. I don't have anything times. to top of that, so I'm not going to say I can't even honestly quantify how Next many question. times I've watched that one. Next question. Can we do three more questions? Do you think that time is all at once or it happens in different days? Time, I think. We don't understand time. I can't time, comment on time that. Time is the fourth dimension. Time, so. time is real, but it's not. The time thing about is an time, illusion. Like you think, you think that seconds we are were made up by us. Seconds yeah. aren't real. Minutes aren't and real. Then, and then I'm, I'm gonna up. blow your mind right now. You gotta think. We might not be the only timeline. There could be alternate universes, you know, yeah. different Parallels. streams of yep. consciousness. I've been watching The Flash, and they have a lot of different yep. universes. Have you ever seen Inception? Yeah. I've never heard of that movie. Before. How about your favorite Halloween costume you dressed up as? <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Um, well, you you did like the <laughs> pizza. Um, Slice of the pizza. Dumb, <laughs> dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Um, the, the, the like orange and blue suit thing, yep. things. Um, yeah, it's probably those. How about your most embarrassing moment in life so far? Uh, in oh, life? Oh shoot. Um, uh, well, geez. One time. I would say it's been on stage, just falling off my drum seat. Yeah, I mean, one time I took a car through a garage door on accident. <laughs> <laughs> what Greek god would you be? Oh, easy, Zeus. Um. You know about the Greek gods? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I would probably be um, maybe Poseidon or his fury is pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Or, or who is uh, the evil one? Like Kratos or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Kratos. He's pretty cool because he's like super powerful. And Jackson, Lightning Thief was watching that just recently. I was like, wow. I watched it. This today. guy kicks. Ass. I watched that today. Actually. You watched it today? Yeah, I did. How about weirdest thing you autographed and weirdest fan gift you got? We're just saying I've autographed. Um, I know like a one. spoon. Yeah, we did a spoon. That was just strange. A couple of four. And then what the was the second question? One. Weirdest fan gift you got? Oh, weirdest fan gift? Honestly, I really got anything that all. weird. I yeah. appreciate them all. I don't think we ever got anything that weird, to be honest. Because I mean, it's, it's cool that people take their time to even give us something. You know? Yeah. So. I mean, one time somebody bought me a pillowcase because my <laughs> mom got me a Nick Cage pillowcase, and so they got me a pillowcase to replace it. Yeah. Because they hated Nick Cage. I didn't like that. One. Yeah. And you know, Nick Cage is like family to us. Yeah. You can't do yeah. that. Yeah. Who would you rather be friends with? Casper, E.T., a Gremlin, Troll, SpongeBob, Snoopy the Dog, Garfield, Cat Dog, or Scooby Doo? I'm gonna go with King Kong. Like, Can I hear? Wait, wait, okay. I go Scooby Doo. Can I hear like the first three one more time? Uh, E.T., a Gremlin, and Troll. E.T. 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 Yeah, same. I like that movie. Yeah. It's probably real too. And most random thing that's happened in life so far. Random thing. Um, 
probably well one time I got bit by a spider and I could have sworn that I was like getting like, like some weird powers because I started like feeling all weird no no seriously and like, what did happen is our first tour actually no like I I almost uh I was walking in we were on a tour bus at the time and I was walking in and I had a bottle of shampoo and he was sleeping on the couch. And he was totally asleep. And I dropped it, and it was about to fall on his head. And he was like, Yeah, my reflexes have been really fast ever since that. Honestly, though, it's true. So, I feel I, something's happening. Hey, well, thanks. Yeah, Your name? Appreciate Colin it. from Undercover. Brandon from Undercover. Thank you, man. Thank you.